हेलो माय नेम इज आकाश प्रकाश गोड़वे आई एम लर्निंग इन बीएससी थर्ड ईयर आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी आई विल प्रेजेंटेड बाय न्यूमेरिकल कैलकुलस थ्योरम थ्योरम पार्ट ए इफ अ सेट इज लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट देन एनी सबसेट ऑफ इट इज आल्सो लीनियर इंडिपेंडेंट एंड पार्ट बी इफ अ सेट is linearly dependent then any superset of it is also linearly dependent part a and b then the statement statement in a vector space v suppose in bracket v1 comma v2 also dash dash vn is an order set of vectors with v1 is not equal to 0 the set is linearly dependent if if and only if one of the vectors in bracket v2 v3 is also vn from say vk belongs to in bracket v1 v2 dash 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 vk minus 1 bracket close that is vk belongs to v1 v2 also vk minus v1 for k is equal to 2 comma 3 comma n proof suppose vk belongs to in bracket v1 comma v2 dash dash also vk minus 1 then vk is a linear combination of in bracket v1 comma v2 is also dash dash vk minus 1 thus the set in bracket v1 comma v2 is also vk is linearly dependent and hence is semicolon bracket v1 comma v2 dash dash vn is linearly dependent Conversely, suppose that in bracket v1 comma v2 dash dash is also vn is linearly dependent. Consider the set s1 is equal to in bracket v1, s2 is equal to in bracket v1 comma v2, also s3 in bracket v1 comma v2 comma v3, also sn is equal to v1 comma v2 comma and it also say vn. Then S1 is linearly independent and by assumption Sn is linearly independent dependent sorry we go down the list choose the first linearly dependent set let Sk be that set then Sk is linearly dependent and Sk minus 1 is linearly independent as we have alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus and so on alpha k minus 1 vk minus 1 plus a k vk is also is called a k plus vk alpha k vk is equal to 0 then the then the proof will be if alpha k is equal to 0 comma alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus so on alpha k minus 1 vk minus 1 is equal to 0 but alpha 1 is equal to 0 alpha 2 is equal to 0 alpha k minus 1 is equal to 0 this gives that v1 v2 dash dash a, a k linearly independent which is not possible and hence a k is not equal to 0 but then therefore alpha k v k is equal to in bracket minus a 1 v 1 plus alpha in bracket alpha 2 my v 2 plus so on in bracket minus alpha k minus 1 in bracket bracket close vk minus 1 vk is equal to in bracket minus alpha 1 oblique ak bracket close v1 plus uh, in bracket minus alpha 2 oblique ak bracket close v2 plus so on plus in bracket alpha minus alpha k minus 1 oblique ak alpha k in bracket bracket close vk minus 1 vk belongs to vk belongs to in bracket v1 comma v2 and so on vk minus 1 it will be close their theorem and proof will be declared. Thank you so much.